Greetings, welcome to the Man Cave. Today we are going to make some pretzel rolls for sandwiches or hamburgers or whatever you might like to do with them. So let's get started. We're going to get started with our dough for these pretzel rolls. With the KitchenAid mixer here, I'm going to put one and a half cups of lukewarm water in the mixing bowl, four tablespoons of melted butter, one tablespoon of sugar, and two teaspoons of kosher salt. Next, I'm going to sprinkle two and a quarter teaspoons of active yeast or dry yeast onto that and then next we're going to put in about four and a half cups of flour and I've weighed this out to 22 ounces so you can uh, measure whatever way works best for you and then we're going to turn our mixer on low and let that dough come together Now that that dough's come together, we're going to turn the speed up to medium and let it beat for four or five more minutes till it's nice and smooth. Okay. Now that that dough's ready, we're going to move on to the next step. We're going to take the bowl off and remove the dough. I've wiped down my mixing bowl. I'm going to spray it down on the inside with a little vegetable oil. And then we're going to put our dough back in the bowl. And we're going to turn it to get a nice, get a little bit of that oil all over the dough. And then we're going to cover this up and let it rise for about an hour till it doubles in size and then we'll be back. Now that our breads, our dough's finished rising, I'm going to just kind of work it, work it out a little bit, and round it out, and then we're going to cut this into six equal parts. So I'm going to cut it right down the middle. And then we'll cut each of these into three equal pieces. And then we're going to take each of our three pieces and shape it into a bun shape. And then we'll set these aside while we go to the next step. I've got a stock pot going here with 10 cups of water in it and I'm going to dissolve two-thirds of a cup of baking soda in that water and then we're going to put each of our pretzel rolls in here for 30 seconds on each side and then we'll flip them over. Actually these probably don't need to be flipped they're going to stay in there pretty well so we're going to do that to each of these and then set them on our tray here with parchment paper and then we'll be right back. Our next step is going to be to apply our egg wash. I've taken one beaten egg and a tablespoon of water and we're just going to brush the tops of each of these. And then we'll sprinkle the top of each with a little bit of sea salt. And then we're going to score the score an X in the top of each bun. And to cook these, I am going to put these in the oven at 450 degrees, probably for 12 minutes or so. We'll see how long it takes. We'll be right back. Okay, folks, here we have it. Got them finished. Looks like 12 minutes in the oven. Uh, did the trick on these you want them to have a nice golden brown top just like you see here and these things smell awesome these are big enough you know for sandwiches which is the objective here you can slice these guys in half 
I'll make ham and cheese Swiss sandwiches. You can do brat sandwiches or burgers or whatever else. I don't have a grocery store around here that I'm aware of that sells pretzel rolls, but these were very easy to make. So give these guys a try sometime and let me know what you think. Until next time, Man Cave Meals.